Insight Maker 2023 update. Since August of 2022, there have been numerous sort of enhancements, tweaks, and, and a major overhaul of the user interface for Insight Maker. And I'd like to go ahead and cover all of them, though not in any depth. The in-depth workings of the various and sundry pieces will actually show up in the in the learning thread the the first thing is when you log into insight maker and look at your models you'll notice that there's a a very consistent uh, display of sort of a thumbnail of of your model to look at and there has been an additional uh item added to tell you how many times your model has been cloned which will give you an idea of whether or not someone else is finding it useful or not. Um, you can sequence through these. I understand that there's also going to be an option added to allow you to, to sequence through these in reverse order. You can explore the current insights either by searching or using the, the cloud tag. And you can look at the new insights, the same display uh, thumbnails for the models. And with the addition of um, the actual creator of the model and the ability to go ahead and click on that so that you could look to see if they're developing any other models. Um, and um, also, you know, this, this was, uh, where is it? One? It was one I saw this morning. It was was cloned a couple of hundred times. Now this one down here has been cloned 202 times. So I figure this is probably used in a in a course someplace, and all of the students are cloning this model. And if I look at uh, Matthias, you can look at all of the various and sundry models that that Matthias has developed. In uh, let's see, new insights. Other things that have been added, if you look at the sequence across the top, I mean, the, the UI has just been sort of simplified or streamlined. It's not as chunky as it used to be. Um, the settings has been cleaned up, so it looks much nicer. The, the edit options have been added for find and replace, um, for expand and, and, and cut and paste. And you can cut and paste within a model. You can't cut and paste from one model to another, but you could import one model into another. And I'll cover that in the, in the detailed um, learning elements. So, and there are also the idea for themes. This is the default theme. This is a high impact theme. This is one that, that um, is usually good for causal loop diagrams. Back to, and you can create your own custom themes for the models. <clears throat> Embedded in web pages, storytelling, import and export, you can actually export your model to your desktop if you want and, and import it back in. And the import, this is where you would import um, one Insight Maker model into another. In terms of storytelling, the storytelling feature where it used to project display all across the bottom, it's now been given its own <clears throat> little um, dialog box so that when you start the story, it pops up here. And if it's in the way, you can actually move it to someplace else so it's not in the way of what you're displaying, which I thought was very nice. A, mm, let's see, what else? If we're looking at the, <clears throat> oh, back here, there's now a way to reorder the elements in the list if you want to. You can simply change which order they appear in, which I thought was nice. And there's also a, an option for doing scenarios so that you can, if you have two or three different sets of parameters that demonstrate something about the model. You can set up scenarios so you can say, okay, this is the baseline. 
and here are um, the values. You can go ahead and update the values for, uh, do you want to update it? Okay, I don't want to do this. You can set the, the various values of the parameters for each um, one of the scenarios. So you can go ahead and you can then say this is a selected scenario and you can simulate this. Look at this temperature. And I can then go ahead and say this scenario and simulate it again and look at the temperature and compare the differences without having to go through and reset all of the various parameters. I thought that was nice also. The, there were a number of images that you could add that were built into Insight Maker. There's now been a whole suite of um, emojis that you can add to the model. Well, you won't have the problem with that we had for a long time with the elements of the model. If you link to some image out on the internet someplace, they change over time and you come back to show the model to somebody and the image is broken. This way, you should have plenty of images that you can add that, that won't get broken. And there's also on this description part, there's a show more. Um, I've also asked them to add a show less option here because once you show more, it, push, it pushes these way down in the bottom. What you can do is presently is you can close this and reopen it, which then puts it into the, the compressed mode. Um, in terms of the, no, oh, where previously, where is it? Previously, you could, well, it's here someplace, edit. Hmm. When you, when you simulate a model, you can click on this and you can draw on it. And, and a little while ago, I was sure, oh, there it is, sketch. So you can select sketch and it will actually allow you to sketch right on the model itself or highlight different segments where this was previously only available in the um, graphics display or the, the chart display for simulation. <clears throat> and if you simulate a model and you want to link the sliders to results, you now get a, an indicator that it's there and once you do that, if you change the values, you can see the model change based upon those. And you can either click here to undo that or click here to undo it. So those are the, the things that have been tweaked or added over the last eight months. And I'm quite pleased with them. It just seems to present a, a nicer environment to work with. Hope you found this of interest and uh, I'll be doing another video soon. Bye.